guys. I just completed the last leg of my long journey north. I'm in a whole other time zone. I'm so far north. I took two planes. I stayed in a hotel last night. Then Harlan from Red Lake Outfitters and I drove down a logging road for like two hours and then took a four wheeler into the bush for about three or four kilometers. And those guys just, I just left those guys. They're back there leaving on the quads, I can hear them. And I'm here by myself, left my own devices in the middle of nowhere for 10 days. I'm super excited. This is gonna be a great journey. This is gonna be self-discovery, self-reflection, eating lots of fish building a shelter that I'm going to stay in for the duration. I've got 10 items. I've got a backpack and then I've got a backpack full of camera gear in front of me. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy I'm here. It's surreal. I, I'm still not um, fully, fully getting it yet, but I'm going to look for a spot to post up tonight and then uh, start worrying about where I'm gonna set up my permanent shelter for the duration uh, tomorrow. I'm alone, I'm, I'm truly alone. We're gonna find a spot, a spot to post up for today. Um, and then I gotta catch a fish for dinner. That's gonna happen, I promise. All right, there's an island right in front of me. I'm gonna head for that and see how that looks. It's a touch windy, but uh, if I camp on this side of the island, Pretty good. Here's the island. It's pretty thick, guys. Pretty, pretty thick. I'm assuming that's how it's gonna be. Well, I do see a spot. I have a pretty big tarp, so I don't know um, that I'll be able to utilize the whole thing, but here's a decent flat spot right here. I could tie off to that tree and one back there and do a little A-frame. I don't have a sleeping pad, so I need to make a mattress with a uh, spruce, which is okay. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll stay here. Maybe I'll stay here. Decisions, decisions, eh? All my gear for the 10 days, with the exception of my camera gear, is all in this Frost River pack. Let's go set up a camp. This trip I need to be extremely careful that I don't lose anything or make too many mistakes. So I'm gonna try and really keep thinking the whole time. Put the axe mask in there, no chance of losing it. I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna use it for part of my bedding. Look at that right there in my bed. Some grouse droppings. Oh, and look at that right next to it. Little bunny poops. Little bunny droppings. So I got all my stuff for 10 days in this Frost River Isle Royal Junior. 
Frost River was cool enough to send me a pack, so thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. This is a pretty cool pack, wax canvas. Um, my 10 days here are not going to be like a canoe trip. This is stationary camping, right? Like I mentioned, I'm going to camp here tonight and probably find a, a permanent camp tomorrow. But I'm not, this is not a canoe trip where I'm traveling. This is living off the land. I barely have any food, guys. I'm super hungry right now already. I've only eaten breakfast today, and it's 3.30. So I don't want to dig into my reserves yet or anything like that. I'm going to go hungry right now until I get situated enough where I feel like it's okay to go fish. Um, I do have a fishing pole and some tackle, which is great. Ooh, my fishing pole. Got a saw. I'll go through my 10 items later on. Not right now. Um, this is surreal. Oh, my stomach's grumbling. This is surreal. I feel, um, I don't feel rushed. I, I know that I have to do a lot of things, but I feel pretty, pretty calm, pretty at peace, at peace. I think this tarp might be a bit overkill on the size, but that's okay. Uh, this is like a 20 by 11 tarp from AquaQuest. AquaQuest also sent me this for the trip. I reached out to a few companies, Hestra, Fall, uh, Hestra Glove Company, Frost River Packs, and AquaQuest, and they all sent me something, which is very cool, three out of three. So thank you to all three companies for that. Um, I really appreciate it. So this is a heavy duty tarp, guys. This is a big, big one. I already strung up a ridge line. So let's get this hung up and see what we can do in this tight, small area. That's a lot of tarp. And some toggles. A third one just in case I need it. So my idea is just to leave the tarp folded in half. It's doubled up right now and that'll uh, that'll be fine for tonight. I've got to put my toggle through both these tabs so it might be, which might prove to be a bit difficult especially with all the weight of the tarp on it. I gotta loosen this this tarp up or the, the line up. All right let's try this again. You can do it, Joe. I know it. My mom used to sing a song to me when I was little. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. It's not really riveting lyrics, but I'm thinking about it. And that's what this trip is all about. Thinking about stuff and saying it out loud. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I want... Okay, I'll stop now. Not, not time for singing yet, right? This is difficult. This is proving to be difficult. Yes, I did it, did it. Okay, one, <laughs> one toggle on. Oh my goodness, look at her go, look at her go. Man, calm down, look at this. All right, I got her up. She's uh, not the greatest, but it's definitely solid. It'll protect me from any kind of rain. Uh, give me a little bit of a wind block. And uh, yeah, it'll be home for tonight. Nice and big in there. I'll be able to put my backpack in there and everything with me. You can see here I have some spruce boughs. These are the tops. I've separated them into coarse, or sorry, coarse and fine. I will go take some trees down right now to get more, um, more spruce boughs. Uh, but this is, this is what I've got it so far. So this will go on top. And these, this is like the base. But this is nothing. Like, 
compress that with my hand in a second. So that's the that's a next order of business for sure. I have to make my bed. Um, I am losing time, so I need to get a fish tonight, 100%. I think what I'm going to do is collect my bows now, pile them here roughly, head out into the canoe, troll around, see if I can fish, see if I can spot any good si um, other sites or other places to, to set up a camp, and then come back here and finish the bed, because I can, I can finish the bed while I'm losing light, but I really need to get a fish, so... Also, it's very, very, very dry. Very dry and duff here. So I don't really want to have a fire here. I believe I'm going to have a fire down on the, the rock. When I get to my permanent shelter, my permanent spot tomorrow, I'll set up a proper fire pit, line it with big, big rocks and everything so there's no danger of it. But for tonight, we'll have a fire down right next to the water. I really can't believe how hungry I already am. Like, it's almost 5 o'clock. And I just ate breakfast today, so it's all day without food, but I don't have much food. I might not even have to take down any trees. There's a big spruce here. I can just keep delimbing here, so that's even better. So because I flew here on two separate planes, I got a few pieces of kit from Harlan, uh, the outfitter. So one of the pieces of kit was a fishing pole and a reel and some, and some uh, tackle. Because all that stuff's kind of difficult to bring on the plane, the fishing pole for sure. And I got a sleeping bag from him too. I had to bring two bags. One bag was full of camping gear, one bag was full of filming stuff, so, and plus I had to have some clothes for the layover and all that fun stuff. So this is a four piece rod. I'm not used to using one like this, but it's pretty nice. It'll be even nicer if it gets me some fishies, right? I feel very good right now. I feel very rejuvenated and like energized. I'm pretty hungry. Can't get past that, but let's go remedy that, you know? Let's go remedy that. Let's go do what we're supposed to do while we're here, right? <laughs> this is going to be a good trip, man. This is going to be a really good trip if I don't break this rod within the first five minutes. I'm going to troll. I'm going to go troll for some pike. Wish me luck. See what I can see. Trying to get a lay of the lake. So what I've got on right now is a Len Thompson number two. This was my lucky lure when I was around this area last time. So I'm hoping she does the same for me. No luck trolling yet. Do some casting near shore. Well, that stinks. Been out here for a solid hour. And I haven't got one bite. It's an eye opener. I was expecting to come here and just slay. No problem. Slay the fish. Uh, it's um, it's proven to be different than that. I'm not sure what it is. If I'm in the wrong location of the lake, if it's just the wrong time of day, or what? But it's 6:30 now. It stays light till about nine o'clock around here. So I think what I'm gonna do is go back, get a fire going, cook up some rice and make my bed. And then at dusk, 
I'll come back out and try and fish. One more lap around the island, trolling, and then we'll, uh, if nothing, we'll go back to camp, cook up some rice. <laughs> some rice for dinner. There's no, no, nowhere near enough. I can feel the cold of the ground through it and the heart of the ground. I gotta get a lot more spruce boughs. I gotta eat too. I gotta make a fire to cook. I gotta make a fire to boil water to drink. I'm so like, lips are chapped. I really need to drink water. I think I'm gonna have my fire right down here sit on this little ledge and have the fire on the rock in front. I'll have to prop it up with a couple different rocks. I got my food rations in here and my billy can. Collected some firewood. I gotta get a little bit more and make this pit. Oh, I saw fish scales right here um, on the shore, right in front of the camera. I'll show you in a second here. Um, so that means there's fish. 100%. You know what I mean? Like I was kind of like Maybe this lake, it just doesn't have fish. It's just Joe. It's just old Joe's fault, you know? So there they are. Looks like pike scales. Something ate a pike here, a bird probably. That is definitely a plus. It's a positive thing, so. <sighs> Onto the fire. There, now it's kind of blocked in here. You know what I mean? The fire's not gonna just roll off. It's kind of contained right there. I might even actually I'll move it over a touch. Cause that's kind of close to the shrubbery there. All right, have it right there. I'm not too shabby as they say. Look at that. This is bone dry. I have to really, really be careful with my fires. All right, here is my twigs, my kindling. Here is my lichen as tinder. We shall see what happens. I've got a fire steel on a lanyard, no less. There we go. That's not so bad. Fire. Nice and easy in the boreal. Got my food rations in here. I'll show you what all I have. I've got a kuksa, and this is gonna be for measuring and then for also drinking like tea out of and stuff. I've got a couple pounds of jerky from Nick. Good buddy Nick, thank you very much. Lifesaver with that. I've got a bag of dehyd dehydrated vegetables. Leeks, carrots, onions, greens, stuff like that. I really need to get vegetables into me uh, for my stomach. I've got two lemons. Small thing of spice. Pack of lard. Small bag of dainty rice. Bag of oatmeal, or oats I guess. And then a big bag of rice. The only reason this rice is separate from this is because it's a different kind. I just threw it in at the last minute. So really, let me show you exactly what I have. I'll lay it out here and show you in video. It's not much, you know? 
it's not much. There's no staple, there's no, sorry, there's no, like, meals. There's only staples, there's only add-ons. There's oats for breakfast. That's about the only thing that I can eat by itself. And the rice, I guess, but that's no fun either. <laughs> All right, let me show you exactly on video here so you can see it, because once you look at it, it really, really doesn't look like much. To me, I'm the one out here. It doesn't look like this much to me, like that much to me. That's it, from left to right, jerky, lard, oats, kooksa, rice, lemons, dehydrated vegetables, spice, and rice. I'm not gonna die out here, you know what I mean? Even if I didn't eat anything for 10 days, I'd still live, it wouldn't be fun, it'd be suffering, but with this amount here, I will be okay. Fish really, really needs to happen though. Fish need to come into play because I don't have any weight to lose, you know? I'm a pretty skinny boy. All right, rice it is. Use one scoop of the kooksa. Well, maybe not one full one. That took a lot out of there. Three quarters of a scoop of in the kooksa into the pot. I'm gonna put a little bit of vegetables in there too, just a sprinkle. Yeah, now we're living. Falling out of control over here. This jack pine does not coal up, it just ashes. And it doesn't wanna stay lit. I can't get really too big of pieces right now because it's all just kind of branches. So I'm gonna have to keep feeding this fire religiously to keep her going. I don't have any silverware, so I've got to whip myself up a crude spoon. All right, well, my food is done. Let me show you what I'm working with here. The vegetables rehydrated pretty nicely. It's no, I can't spill a grain. I don't have a grain to spare. Cheers. Some veggies. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. I have to eat more regularly. Even if I'm just snacking on jerky or something. I didn't put any jerky in this. Um, like I said, it's an eye opener with the fish thing. So I'm eating this tonight. Rice and veggies. And I'm s saving the jerky. I will need protein. I'll need meat. So, just to play it safe, I'm not even going to put one piece of jerky in here. I'm not even going to open the bag because then I'll be snacking on it. I still have a bunch of work to do on my bed. I gathered a bunch more boughs over here. I cut from this side by the water because there's more. Um, so, I've got a big pile over there. I probably really have to collect more and thatch it all still. It's a mosquito. I have no bug protection at all, like no um, tent or screen of any kind. I did bring a bug head net and like a bug shirt, um, like a tight fitting shirt that they're not supposed to bite through. So we'll see, we'll see how she goes. I hope that there is no bugs the whole time, but being here for 10 days we'll see try to get as much of the excess rice out as i can my last trip i was drinking rice water it wasn't the greatest but no big deal either way just kind of get as much out as i can with my hands oh yeah bud she's a rolling she's a rolling So this is about three quarters full, like I said. This is gonna be my water for tonight. I do want some water right now. I need water, I don't wanna drink hot water and I don't want tea. So I'm gonna set this in the lake 
and uh, have it cool down that way. Oh, I might have to make a beer weir for the, the water, a little water weir. All right, she's okay right there. For now, at least, I'll get a couple of rocks and make a little weir. I mean, firewood too and make my bed. Lots of work. All right, I'm calling that good. That's my bed for tonight. All right, there she is. Solid wood there. All set, we're gonna go fish. Wish me luck. Sun just went down past the trees. I'm not getting any bites. Even if I wanted to stay uh where I am, I might have, might not be able to. I, ha I might have to move. Well, I better start paddling back to camp. I don't want to be out here too late and it get too dark. I'm not really familiar with the lake yet. I'm not having any luck at all. Like literally, there's no bites. Yeah, buddy, on film and everything. First fish of the trip. Oh, buddy, thank Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's too good. <gasps> he let go. He let go. He let go. It was a pike, I saw him. It was a decent sized pike. Okay, that's the first time I was I was trolling with the wrap and I got a bite. I, I had a fish on. Okay, okay, things are looking up. This this lake is very shallow and every time I'm, I have like a spoon on or, or the jig or whatever, it, it's just like catching on the rocks below. It's very shallow and very um, rocky. So I think this is the deal, the floating wrap. The problem is I only have one of those, like for real. Um, I better put a, uh, a leader on. That's crazy. Okay, okay. Things are happening. <laughs> that was too good. <sighs> well, that was interesting. Hope it happens again. In my decision making for this trip, I decided to make the fishing tackle the pole and the reel all one item. And I said originally I was gonna bring five lures. That's ridiculous, there's no way. For 10 days, there's no way. I, bought a, I brought a tackle box, small tackle box. I got jigs, spoons, floating wraps, um, or no, one floating wrap and a bunch of divers. Um, unless I find a deep spot in this lake, those divers are useless here. All right, I'm paddling back to camp. I gotta get back, I'm freezing cold and uh, losing light. So if I get another fish on, I will definitely let you guys know. <laughs> I got, I got all that Labrador tea, and I got some spruce tips too. That should be a, make a nice tea. I'm gonna rip the Labrador tea up a tiny bit so it just gets imparts more flavor. I'll probably take it off the stock, eh? Probably take it off the stock there, Joe.
the little bit of extra clothes that I do have are in this small AquaQuest bag. I'm using it as a seat. I have no chair or anything, and I don't want to sit on the cold ground anymore. Even sitting on this is pretty cold, so I'm just going to warm it up by the fire. Nice heated seat. Get my tea. Can you see me? There we are. Okay, let's try this Labrador tea and spruce tip tea. The plant is called Labrador tea. This plant. Doesn't really have too much of a taste, to be honest. Feels good on my stomach. I think the plan for tomorrow is to head down that way. That's where I caught the pike, or almost caught the pike, down that way. I think if I paddle to almost the end of the lake, there might be a chance of, like, the wind pushing the minnows down there, or there, because the wind's going going that way. Or there might be a creek or an inlet at the very end. <clears throat> so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to get up early in the morning and fish just around here. See if I can snag something in the morning for breakfast or keep it for lunch even. Um, and then come back here, pack up, and then start traveling down the, down the lake to try to find a permanent spot. You guys, there's the north. The northern lights are behind me in the sky. I want to try to um, set my camera to a long exposure and get a picture of it. But like, I've never seen the northern lights in my life. And the first night here, they're right there. It's unmistakable. They're so bright. There's th there's like, they're like beams shooting directly into the sky. It seems, and they're green. <coughs> they're dancing now. I've always heard people talk about them dancing and they're, I can see it. This is something else. The green lights going up, green beams going up and like a white light dancing across them. Low. There it is. There it is. Oh my. Oh my. It's so bright. Wow. Oh my goodness. It is bedtime, guys. It's gotta be midnight. Yeah, quarter to midnight. Quarter to midnight. So, I have like three DSLRs, two point and shoots, four GoPros, two tripods, a bunch of attachments. Anyways, I have all that in this backpack, this waterproof bag. So that's my my camera bag, um, and I'll go through all my camera gear and all my gear that I have and stuff later on in the trip. Um, but I'm gonna put this next to my bed here so I have something to push up against, like uh, snuggle up against. I really like that; it makes it a lot more comfortable. And seeing as how these pine or spruce boughs are not a sleeping pad, I'm gonna be want to be as comfortable as possible. So I'm gonna have that in there next to me. I'm going to use my clothing as a pillow I probably am going to put my long johns on though because I'm pretty chilly so anyways this will be a decent pillow um, we need all my camera gear under here and go to sleep I want to sleep with my axe I can feel the cold through the ground already on my bum. It's, uh, it is concentrated in one spot as opposed to laying down. So, all right, guys. Unless something eventful happens, I'll get with you guys in the morning. You have a good night's sleep. Try to sleep as good as I'm going to. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Good morning.
morning guys I slept really really good I stayed dry warm and comfortable which is pretty awesome it's seven o'clock now I woke up around six I've just been laying here wrote in my journal a little bit and um, just been thinking about shelter options and what I should do today first off so I think Originally, I said I was going to tear down camp and book it down there and, and set up. I still will move. I just think that I'm going to leave camp the way it is right now and go and paddle around and find a spot where there might be some fish and then look for a suitable spot to camp um, for my permanent camp there um, and then come back and get my stuff and head back down and set up because... It's a good time to fish right now in the morning. Um, yeah, and that's what I feel like doing. So that's what I'm going to do. Get up, have some oats. Some oats for breakfast. And yeah, get in the canoe and paddle around. Damn, that was easy. I am quite surprised. Burn an old jack pine and spruce all night. I did not expect there to be any kind of even warmth, let alone uh, be able to blow it into flames. Very cool. Very, very cool. Ooh, she's a little toasty. A little warm, guys. I had to carve myself another spoon. Don't really know where it went now. All right. See that? See that beauty? Look at that dip. Look at that. <laughs> so I'll make that into tea. Have a good little brekkie. Nice English brekkie. I don't know why it's English brekkie. Maybe because of the tea. It's warming up quick. Back in the bush where my shelter is, it's uh, it's still relatively cool, but out in the sun, it's nice and hot. There's no clouds. It's gonna be a hot day. Just loaded my backpack up with a few things I might need. Uh, got bear spray in there. I have a spot uh, signal device, and I have a sat phone. I got my coat and a couple snacks and stuff. So. Should be good for, until we find a spot. situation is a bit tricky they could come out at any time the weather is definitely appropriate for them so I'm hoping to get a few days of no black flies um, and it won't be peak anyways it won't be peak black fly season because that takes about a week or two or three even so even if they do come out by the end of my trip it won't be peak it'll be fine and that's good considering I have no, uh, no tent, no screen, nothing like that. Oh, what a beauty morning. Just paddling past another group of islands here. And look what I see. A big old open spot on top of rock. With a nice canoe entry right there. All smooth. I'm going to go hop up onto the shore there and check it out a bit. This is a good potential camp spot. Wow, this is nice and open. I don't want to commit to anything just yet because there might be places that look just like this down farther towards the fishing or where I think the fishing will be. Um, but as of now, this is a great open spot. 
best spot I've seen yet. I can actually unfold my tarp completely. I could probably, yeah. Yeah, the ground's all rock and lichen and uneven, but I can build a bed. I can even it out for myself where I need it to be. Back here is not so bad anyway. Tons of blowdown, tons of material. Oh yeah, look at the moss. I can use that too. Tons of blowdown. Some loon neighbors. Oh man. Blue sky. Is this a sign? Is the loon call a sign? <laughs> okay, this is a definite possibility, guys. Like, like, uh, yeah, high up there on the list for sure. I really like the open spot here. I really like the possibility of spreading my tarp completely open, building onto it, building some wooden walls on it or whatever. Tons of material. Okay. I may just have a fish on. I don't want to get out too excited like last night. Oh, I may just have a pike. I may just have a pike, boys and girls. Get in my boat. Get in my <gasps> Pike on. Oh, for two. Oh for two. Had it in my hand. Next time I'm grabbing that guy by the back of the neck, pulling him in. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Pike on. <laughs> you have to be joking. You have to be joking. This is no this is a uh, what? What? Look at the size of the lure. Look at the spoon. Look at the little, what is it, a perch? A little perch on there. <laughs> that guy has a big appetite. His, his eyes are bigger than his mouth. Um, there's a good thing with this. There's, there's a good side. I can use this guy for bait now. I can hear running water. That's, that's awesome. I've been looking for a stream or a creek. You can hear running water right in front of me. I can't see it though. Okay, I was successful, but it's a sucker. It's a freaking sucker. It's not a walleye, it's not a pike, it's not a trout, it's a sucker fish. The bottom of the barrel, in my opinion, but what am I gonna do? Right, I can't turn it up. I caught it, it's meat, I'm gonna eat it. So, might not taste the greatest, but this is gonna be lunch today. The remnants of a fish here. It's got the head, no eyeballs. It's got the head and the fins still uh, left on it. At first I thought it would have been a bear, but I imagine it was probably probably an eagle or some kind of bird. But I was down in this creek here. I left the camera here because it was so windy and everything. But uh, yeah, it was very berry, very, very bear-like down in there. So I kept just talking out loud as I was walking. I didn't want to surprise any while he was fishing or anything like that. Okay, well, it's 10.30. I've been out here for a while. I'm far, far, far from camp. I've been trolling a little bit along the way too to see if I can get anything else, but uh, I'm heading back to camp to, to cook this thing up and relax for a little bit. Maybe lay down, I'm exhausted. It's already 11.30.
I got another pike on and lost it. That's three. I don't know what the heck is going on. I kept the tension the whole time. Uh, I didn't even try to turn on the camera. He got to the boat. I saw him hit it. Uh, there's a pike again, big one, and then couldn't even reach my hand in before he spit it. All right, it was hard filleting this night. Sorry about that, in the middle of me talking to you guys, my memory card filled up. Um, I got a fillet off, it's hard to fillet it with my belt knife, but this is just one of them. I got another one and some more pieces. I got some steak spice on there and some lard melted. We're gonna fry them up real quick because I'm super hungry. Oh buddy, getting white, that's good. That's a good sign. The meat doesn't actually look too bad. Uh, we'll see how it tastes. It, it's a sucker, so can't imagine it being too delicious, but right now I am uh, just happy to have food. Just happy to have some meat. All right, fish is done. It kind of mushed up. Um, it's just gotta be the type of fish it is. Soft flesh. They all broke up into really, really tiny pieces. It's gonna be actually hard to eat it. I, uh, I should probably make it next time. If I do have to eat this again, I'll probably cook it inside of a, a rice because it literally went to mush. Like, um, it did not hold its form at all. First bite. Bon appetit, guys. Oh, that tastes fine. Tastes like perch. It's so soft, though. That's the problem. It's like a texture thing. It's okay. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm gonna cut into my first lemon because that will go good on there this is my uh, my luxury food here my lemon I gotta boil some water too it's super thirsty but I'm gonna get this down first I gotta cook the other one still the other uh, fillet Appetizing, right? Mm. Yeah, buddy. That lemon helps a lot. Okay. It's not so bad. I can handle this. I prefer walleye or pike, for sure. But, take what I can get. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to move today or not. Like I said, I, I'm not sure. It's 12.30 now. I'm going to eat this up, go lay down in my shelter for a little bit because I've been in the sun all day. And it's shady in there, like big time and cool. So I'm going to go in there, write in my journal a little bit and decide what I'm going to do. In all honesty, it seems to me right now like I'm not going to move today. I'll save that till tomorrow. I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to take it easy today. I'm having a good time. Oh, Mr. Spider, oh, jumping spider. I'm having a good time. Like today was um, all right. This morning it was interesting. It was, it was very um, exciting. You know, I was exploring. I was finding places that I don't know are if they're there or not. I found that creek with the running water. Just searching for fish. I will figure it out. I will figure this lake out. I'll get some pike. I don't know about walleye. It's not, not looking too promising, but I'll get some pike. Even if I only catch a fish every other day, you know what I mean? That'll sustain me big time. I was expecting to catch two, three fish a day. Like, eat two, three fish a day. But that's okay. It's okay. I've just been relaxing. I laid down in bed for a bit. Read my book. I am. I've made the decision. I am staying here tonight. And I'll move tomorrow morning. That's what I'm doing. I also was thinking about just staying here. I have a nice big open spot up here. That I can clear out a little bit even more. And, um, yeah, I like the area, but it's super windy. There's no rock up here. Like, I can't ever have a fire in my thing unless I, I line it with rocks, which is fine. But the couple locations I saw today were really, uh, they were ideal. The only thing I really like about this spot, well, not the only thing, but the main thing I like about this spot is that I have the option of being in the sun and being hot and dry or being back here and being cool. And it's like, there's no sun in here at all. 
well, minimal sun and it's windy. The wind is just whipping through here. Um, so I like the option of being able to have warmth or chill, but the wind will get annoying. The wind will be, get to be a bit much after a while. No rock up here and I'm far from the fishing spot. I think that this spot where I'm here, right, right here is not good for fishing. So I am going to move. And, and it's cooler too, you know what I mean? I'll be able to actually make a bigger shelter and utilize some wood with it. But it is a good spot. I'll stay here tonight for sure. Get up in the morning, pack up all my stuff, head out probably back the way I w went today to one of those spots it's 220 now I think I'm gonna go get in my boat and paddle over across and try and get into some sheltered spots and fish a little bit more I really uh, I don't want to have to rely on suckers you know what I mean I want to I want to get a pike I'll get a walleye so that's what I think I'm gonna do Choppy out here. I can't be out here anymore. I can't keep paddling against this wind. I got pushed all the way down the lake, trolling, fishing, and then trying to get back. It's just fighting the wind so much. So I'm back a mile in camp here. I'm probably gonna stay here for the night unless the the weather changes, and then I'll I'll get out and paddle around and fish again. But uh, yeah, I'm beat. I gotta boil up some water, man. I need a drink really bad. Pretty nice boat, North Star, similar to my Swift. With the next fish that I catch, I'm going to do the same deal with the rice and the vegetables, but boil the fish first. So I'll fillet the fish for supper. I'll fillet the fish. I'll boil water, fillet the fish, throw the fish in the boiling water, let that boil, get all the juices and everything from the fish, and then throw my rice in to boil with the fish water and my, my rice and my vegetables. So that should be good. I should get all the nutrients instead of like frying it away or, or, or letting it drip away over the fire or whatever. I'll try that. I've never, ever, ever done that. It's not my type of thing. A fish soup does not really ring my bell or appeal to me. But it does right now. It really does right now. Cheers. <laughs> I'm glad I brought my little kooksa because I'd be drinking over this. It's definitely doable, I just don't want to do it. Boiling your water, to have drinking water all the time, it's a lot of work. And you're drinking hot water a lot of the times. The lake trick works, putting this right in the lake to cool it down, but it takes a while. And in the middle of the day, when you need to drink water, you need to drink water. So, drinking hot water, but it's okay. Day two is nearly done. It was a good day. A little frustrating with the fish. Having those two pike on and then getting both away, which is crazy. But I got the sucker, which was great. I'm happy for that. I found a few good campsites or spots to be my, my next campsite. Yep, things are things are good. So tomorrow is an ambitious day.
here's the 10 items I chose all together. Starting at the top left is my tarp by AquaQuest. My sleeping bag underneath by Mech. Next to it is my Egoa Canyon Boreal 21 saw. My firesteel.com fire steel. My Weber handmade Algonquin knife. My paracord, my zebra pot, my fishing tackle, my Gransfors Brooks Scandinavian Forest Axe, and my food. If you look over here, this is all of the extra stuff I have. This, all of this together, is exactly all, everything I have. Good thing this Frost River has long straps. Okay, there she be. Bam, son. We're gonna get out of here. This wind is kicking up even more. Goodbye, island. You were a good one. Thank you for your wood, your resources. On to the next one. Okay, we're off. Bye bye. Byland. Ah. I caught a pike right in here yesterday. Well, I had one on the line at least. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can't mess around too much guys. Can't mess around too much guys. Oh this this thing is coming. This thing is coming in the boat. There is no getting around it. I am not letting this go. This fish is not getting away. This fish is not getting away. You hear me? This fish is not getting away. Get in the boat! Get in the boat! Woo! In the boat! Okay! Okay! Woo! Yes! Okay, yes, yes, thank God. Oh my goodness, that's a nice pike. I almost did not get that guy in the boat. That was sketchy AF. Yes! I'm shaking, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for a pike. Oh my God, thank God. I'm... <sighs> It's not because I just caught a fish, it's because like, this changes the game now, like, I can eat good today. I can eat good today, that's, that's two meals on that guy. <sighs> Happy Joe, Happy Joe. Day three, Happy Joe. This is nice and sheltered. Maybe up there? It's not too slanted? Looks nice and open, rocky. Pretty marshy in there. 
don't know how that'll be for bugs when the time comes. That's the thing, like, I'm, I'm trying to think of a bunch of different things for the shelter, like, a little chipmunk, uh, wind, sun, bugs, building materials, firewood, um, because I'm going to be here for the next week, or I'm going to be in that location for the next week. This is pretty boggy. It's all bog right there. Which leads me to believe that there'd be a lot of mosquitoes. No, I'm not in love with this spot. Yep. Decision is made. This wind is nuts. I'm barely moving, guys. All I have into it. My arms are shot. Coming up to another spot here that might be suitable. I'm gonna hop up on shore and check her out again. I like the, the boat landing. So here's another island. This spot looks suitable to me. Just gotta check out the resources. Now right off the hop, I see spruce, which will be my bedding. It could be my bedding. This is all lichen on the ground. That's the stuff I was using for fire. And underneath that, straight rock so I can have my fire up on top of this it goes into the bush a bit here this island's quite a bit bigger than my first island oh look at the moss that's a pretty flat spot actually look at that if I take away that middle dead log there's like a nice flat spot it is pretty windy but this is the most sheltered spot I've seen so far. All right, the decision's been made. This is gonna be it, I'm calling this home. Hopefully it works out. Hopefully the wind's not too bad, the bug's not too bad. I have everything I need, it seems like that'll be the case. So I'm banking on this being home. And if not, in a few days, if it gets real bad, I can move, but I think this will be okay. So I have a decent amount of work to do if this is going to be my shelter spot. Obviously this is way too crowded in here. i got to get rid of a lot of these trees. The good thing is though, is there's not really much soil. And I believe that a lot of these trees are just in the top few inches of duff and moss and lichen. So I should be able to just pull some out. Yeah. These small ones, I can pull out. Not going to take too much effort. Um, but, again, there are also bigger ones that I'll have to use my saw and my axe. I have to clear out this whole area, tie off there, put a tripod where the camera is. I'll be able to have a fire un underneath my tarp at the front of it. I'll put the bed at the back laying sideways. Should be pretty good. This is where my bed's gonna be. So I've gotta get rid of this log. I was just gonna chop it, but that's fine too. The area is pretty clear now. Looking good. I do need to find a ridge pole, a long, straight, sturdy ridge pole. I'm gonna come back into the forest to, on the island here, try and get one. Now that's a tarp. This is just roughly done right now, just kinda tied on, nothing's in place. I still have to get some ribs, two or three on either side, to hold this tarp up from bowing in from the wind. I have to tie it down better. But look at the size of this thing. I can legit have a fire right in front. Sleep sideways. I'll have lots of room for stuff. I'll be able to hang stuff up. This is cool. I got a little tree inside my shelter. Very cool. So you can see it's all saggy. Very saggy. But that'll get fixed. And then that's my view. Bam.
Okay, I'm calling this done for today. The shelter, at least. Uh, the shelter part of it. I still have lots more that I can improve upon. Put more ribs, tie cross pieces, lock up a little gap on the bottom there. But for today, I'm fine. This is totally cool. This is way better than what I had the past two nights. So what I want to do now is clear the space in front of me. I've got to get a fire pit ready and cook up my lunch. I'm beat. I'm very, very exhausted. How, how exhausted? Very, very. I want my fire pit right at the edge of the tarp here, but a little bit on the inside so that in case it's raining, in case it rains, I can sit in here and still have a fire. Um, I gotta get all this moss out of here so that nothing catches fire. cook my fish on this stick. I'm gonna spear it through, stick it near the fire. No lard, no seasoning, no lemon. Just eat this fish. All right, that's a good hunk of meat, guys. Super stoked on that. I moved my fish, prop it up on the log, hold it down with the rock, and put it right in front of the flames. Because the wind was blowing it, the flames the wrong way uh, for to cook the fish. So now it's all squared away. This is working really good. Flip her over. Oh yeah. Holy crap. She's going good, bud. Fish is probably done too. Hot water it is. All right, folks, moment of truth here. It's cooked, that's for sure. I didn't do a great job of getting the Y bones out, but that's okay too. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is much needed. This is much needed. Way better than a sucker. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Damn, I did a really horrible job leaving these Y bones in. I'd be so happy to eat pike. It's a cool feeling. 
cool feeling knowing I'm here alone. It's very cool. All right, I'm gonna eat the rest of my pike. winded here. I could get out and paddle around, but it'd be a heck of a time getting back. I'm very content. I'm very comfortable. The sun's out. The wind's blowing. I got my hood on. I'm sitting in the sun. It's just, there's no bugs. There's no bugs at all. And that might change, but for now, there's no bugs, which is a plus. All the kiddos home from school. about her and the wife that when I get up and around this time because that's the time she's going to school and coming home having supper they're probably having a lot of fun without me <laughs> my wife is very pregnant very pregnant now and I told her I'd come home with a name it's a girl, we know that. Some of you will know that too from watching my uh, gender reveal video. So it's hard, it's hard find, picking a name. With Emerald, I knew right away. I wanted her name to be Emerald. I love the name Emmy. I love the fact that it's my birthstone. It's kind of Irishy. She's a, uh, she's my little jewel. So yeah, I gotta think of a name. Gotta think of a, a good baby name for a girl. Anyways, I haven't been doing much. Been laying here reading. It's six o'clock now. I'm winded. It's just absolutely ridiculously windy out today. I'm really hoping it dies down tomorrow. Um, there's no getting in the canoe. Hopefully tonight, hopefully tonight when it gets dark, or about to get dark, I can go for a nighttime paddle like I like to do. But other than that, I'm here, I'm winded on this island. So I'm gonna cook up my dinner, rice and fish. Okay. I got a decent amount of firewood here, enough for supper and then some, and then after that I'll wander around the island and gather as much as I can. Um, it'll probably stay light till about 10 o'clock again tonight. from earlier it's going in boil and then I'm going to make rice in that water that's a good amount of meat guys that's a really good amount of meat that's good very very good my goodness it's time for the wind to die down now this is all day thing here Oh my goodness. Like, it's windy. It's super windy.
I gotta make myself another spoon, spork, scoop, eating utensil. like it's done to me. Oh, she falling apart. Blah. Yeah, that's done. Okay. I'm going to throw these in here. Boil up my rice. I probably do have to dump some of this water out because I have a ton of it. And it'll be too much for my rice. But ah, I won't dump all of it out. Try and keep some of the nutrients in there. I was expecting this to take a little bit longer to cook, so I thought that the water would have evaporated, but now I know. I'll do it for next time. Okay. That's not a bad amount of meat, guys. That plus a little bit of rice, some of those dehydrated vegetables. I'm eating like a king tonight. Like a king! Do less than yesterday, like maybe half of yesterday's. That's not that much for another week. Should have brought more rice. I do have this. This and this is a lot more. Um, this isn't minute rice, so it's it fluffs up a lot more. For the less you use, the more you get. Yeah. I'm losing my mind, guys. I'm losing my mind. I know I'm probably gonna be here. People saying you shouldn't be cooking where you're sleeping and dealing with food where you're sleeping and stuff, but I'm on an island. Part of the reason I wanted to be on an island was so that I could do this. I know bears can swim, but the likelihood of one just smelling me and coming to this island or being on this island already and coming over to me because it smells food is very unlikely. Um, and I will chase it off if it, does, if it does happen, but I'm not too concerned about it at all. But if you are, don't do like I do. I'm not an example for everyone, I'm just doing things the way I want to do them. Got my bed made, just enough for tonight, I'll have to redo it tomorrow. This place already feels way more home-like than, than the last camp, just because like I have a a big shelter where I can be and have all my stuff in and hang out at. I don't have to keep running back from one spot to the other kind of thing. Although I did like that too, but this just feels more home-like. Okay, this is perfect. I pulled it off just in time. There's still a little bit of water in the bottom of this. I'm gonna throw my fish in now and put it back in. That way it'll all heat up together. I'm gonna break up that fish. Not too much, I don't want it to be mushy, but Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's a meal right there. Oh, I gotta be careful about them Y bones, but that's okay. All right, that's going back on. All right, she done. I'm gonna treat myself. Put a little, a little keg spice in this piece. Flavor Town. This has been a good day. It's been a very good day. Let's not choke on Y bones and call it a great day. Here we go. Cheers, guys. Woo! That's okay. That's okay. Stoked on that. Oh man. I'm gonna enjoy my supper. I'll get back with you guys. It ended up coming down quite a bit from what it was. So I got out on the boat, paddled around a little bit, enjoyed a nice sunset. Just catching the tail end of it right now. A little bit of pink left in the sky. There is a little bit more color. It's beauty out now, guys. Absolutely awesome. I could stay out here until it gets completely dark. I think I will. That's what I'm doing.
Day three was really good. That's my island. It's like 10 times bigger than my last one. Like that part there, that little almost disconnected part, is probably the size of my last one, or maybe even half of that. It's all connected. It's quite big. Oh, what a sight for sore eyes. All right, so this kind of sucks. Um, I'm just sitting here thinking, what if they put any kind of food in that present for me? And I just had to look real quick. Like, I didn't want to, like, look at anything in particular. But I look in. The first thing I see is a chocolate bar. And all this now. This is, like, stuff to make s'mores. And then hot chocolate. And that's really nice of them. But I can't have this in here. You know, I mean, my food's way over there, away from my from my shelter. So I didn't look at like the the important things. What they, I guess, they wrote me something, and there's pictures. I just I, I looked away real quick, so I didn't see. But I can't um, I can't have this here, sleeping with this. That's just that's just asking for trouble. So <laughs> thank you, honeys. <laughs> I appreciate it, but this is dangerous. <laughs> this is night three. So, I'm going to go put this with my um, food. I'm very happy to have it. I had no idea it was here. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. And it would have been even cooler on the last night, but I guess I wouldn't have eaten it all on the last night anyway. That would have been too much. I would have gotten sick. I got my food all the way down here by the water in my ursac. You can see it back in there. There you go. So I got tied on the inside of a few trees. That way it makes it super difficult if anything tries to get at it. And uh, they can't get inside it anyways or can't take it away. But it seems to be a really good way to do it. You know I had to do it. I couldn't just put it away. Once I saw it, I knew I was doing it. El Smoro. You gotta roast the marshmallow just so it's lightly crusted, cro lightly brown, crispy and roasted is what I was trying to say. I melted the chocolate and everything. Oh my, so much sugar. Wow. You know these graham crackers are already crushed in there, eh? As soon as I put them in that bag. Man, that's good. High school family. I should have known better. I should have told them to make sure there's no food in it. That's good. Very good. That's pretty cool. I'm just laying here. <laughs> Whole shelter's lit up, listening to loons. Very cool, very serene. Good morning. I'm up with the sun. The wind's already kicking up.
and water's moving pretty good. I'm gonna get up and uh, have some breakfast and then get out and try and fish. I've been trolling now for about a half an hour. No luck. I'm making my way down to that creek that I was at before. I might portage into the next lake. I might fish the creek. We'll see what happens. I did get a pike in this little bay before too. Uh, one of the ones that got away from me. There's a nice big rock in front of me. I think I'm going to fish the side of it. No luck on the rock wall. It's all super shallow by the... Not even that it's shallow, but there's tons of rocks in the shallows. Like, it's not just a drop off anywhere, really, on this lake. It's, it's very um, different than what I'm used to up here. U used to very deep lakes. It's just shallow and then very rocky near the shore. Fish on! Fish on! Oh, it's a pike. She's a good pike. That's a theme. That is a theme here. That's crazy. That was a big pike. Bigger than the one yesterday. This is That was the second time I've casted and caught one this trip. The, all the other times it's been trolling, but as you all know, I've only got the one pike in the boat and that sucker. This is a good spot anyway. Oh, it's an eagle, an eagle. He's going back for his food. Bet you that's where the eagle was. All this bird poop too. Oh look, yeah. It's having a feast. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Fish pieces everywhere. Look, there too. This is crazy. Eagle Smorgasbord. Okay, let's go down. Um, let's walk down the creek, see what we can see. I'm gonna bring my fishing pole and my paddle on this trip through, yeah, through the creek, and then I'm gonna see if I should go in there and fish in the other lake. There's all the suckers in there, I can see them. Yeah, oh, uh, there's another one there. Man, there's fish all along the shore. Keeping my head on a swivel right now for bears. I don't think it's necessary to be screaming the whole time, but keeping your head on a swivel, making a little bit of noise, can't be a bad thing, right? Oh, birch. There's birch. Oh my goodness, look at this bear poop. Look at the size of that bear poop. Holy crap. That's a big one, boys and girls. It's oldie. Oldie but a goodie. All right. There's moose poop or caribou poop. 
Holy moose. I'm coming up to get some birch, Mr. Bear. Don't mind me. I'll be leaving in a minute. I'm gonna load my pockets with this easily peeled birch bark. I'm not gonna rip it off the tree, damage the tree by any means. Just this easily peeled off stuff. Bonus, bonus birch. Coming in for some birch, Mr. Bear. This is a pretty cool forest, oh man. Very hilly. It's nice. Well, here's a dead, here's a dead down birch. It's not gonna matter if I peel it off this one, right? Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah, bud. Look at that one there. Cool. Thanks for the birch. Now you can see the full circumference of the lake. It's pretty small and pretty low. I can't catch anything here from the shore and I don't want to bring my canoe down through that creek. So I'm going to head back up into the, the main lake I was in, my lake. <laughs> Monster pike on. I'm letting him tire himself out this time. I already lost one since I talked to you last. Look at the size of this guy. Yup, got to get him in the boat now. I really don't want to screw this up, but I really want to get it on film too. Oh man, he's big. He's big. Nope, 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 nope. In the boat, in the boat. Look at the size of that thing. That's three times the size of the other one. Bam, son. Bam, son. It's a good sized pike. It's much bigger than the one I caught yesterday. I'm gonna get this guy filleted up. I saved that bag from yesterday. So put the fillets in the bag. I'll probably have some for lunch right now and then supper too. I gotta work on the shelter a bit. <clears throat> I gotta fix my bed and maybe add a back wall. I might go lay down for a little bit first though. I'm a little beat. Head on against that wind. I was out there for a couple hours. Things are good. Things are good, folks. Successful recon mission. Food in tow. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, not only did I get that fish, but I got a good score on birch bark. Don't mind my butt wave. I had a good score on bir birch bark, too. So everything's looking good. Easy fires, stuff to cook on the fire. That hair is looking, it's been better. It's been better. Look at that receding hairline. Old Joe. Brat. All right, I made a little concoction. Uh, birch bark flakes, fatwood shavings, and a little bit of old man's beard off the twigs. I'm gonna try and spark it right in here and then just dump it on the fire and put twigs on top. Just having fun, you know, just playing around. See how she goes. Well, look at that, it worked. All right, lunch, pike backstrap. I'm gonna cut it into little cubes, or bites, chunks even. And I'm gonna fry it up with some lard in my pot. I'm gonna use the actual pot to do it, not the pan, not the insert pan that comes with it. Cause there's a little bit more than will fit in there, I believe. Man, I left the backbone on here. Right? 
yummy. Pike spine. That's my lunch. Melt some lard in there. Melt moss in there. Alright guys, you know what, I licked my fingers after touching this and it tasted so good. We got a good amount of meat. Just want to make sure it's fully cooked, yeah. That was really good. The meat is nice and firm. It's so good. I have this much for lunch, minus the piece I just ate. So you can bet I'm going to savor all this. Uh, this will be a good lunch. Thank you. Thank you, Pike. creating a little bit of a windbreak and a little bit of a barrier. My back is to the majority of the island, so if anything comes at me from this side, uh, it's just an open shot. I don't necessarily need like a wall, like a like a stopping wall, just something to rustle to get my attention kind of thing or to deter from going on this side and come around near the fire. Anyways, all I'm doing is taking the tops of the trees that I, I've used already. So I've got jack pine and spruce. I just bunched them up in there. It's working out okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Man, I am just exhausted. I felt exactly like this yesterday after I ate my fish for lunch then too. I don't know why it would make me tired if it is. I'm not saying it is, I'm just trying to understand why. It happened yesterday after lunch too. I never, I'm not allergic to fish or anything like that. I'm feeling much better after just laying here for a bit, relaxing, just dropping my knife, doing that to the axe, just. Fixed up my camera gear and stuff. I uh, found a couple of extra SD cards, which is awesome. Some 32 gigs. So I should be okay. Um, but it's super windy and the waves are kicking up. I think I'm going to go paddle around the island. It looks fun out there. It looks uh, fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the canoe pretty empty so I can get around pretty good and put on my life jacket, boot around the island. Not really fish, just go out and paddle. It's nuts out here. Fishing rod, that would be dumb. Nuts. Seeing as how I'm not going canoeing, I figured I'd make myself a permanent eating utensil. I've said this probably three or four times now. I got this super dense old spruce and uh, yeah, seems like the ideal wood around here to use for it. So I'm going to split this down with my knife and uh, carve her up. No, I'm not a real, real good carver kind of guy, you know, I never really got into it. But I can make myself a usable eating utensil, for sure.
I'm full. Like, <clears throat> I'm forcing this down. I just boiled up the fish. Threw like a touch of vegetables in there. Like, minimal. No rice at all. A little fish soup. Well, <clears throat> I'm staying here tonight. There's no paddling around. It's finally died down. The wind's done. Finally. It's 10 after 9. That was a lot of wind today for a long time. Hear the loon. Got my firewood stacked up here underneath my tarp next to the fire. It's not going to rain tonight. There's no clouds at all now. There was clouds all day and that wind just pushed them right through. So I don't know if it'll rain tomorrow after all. <clears throat> tomorrow is Tuesday. I worked it out. I got in on Saturday or Friday. I think I got in on Friday. So it was... Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yes, exactly. So tomorrow's Tuesday. Tomorrow's day five. So on the radar, before I came out, that was as far as I could see. And they said, chance of rain or something. Chance of rain. <laughs> Pine needles in my mouth. Um, so we'll see. It'll be a change of things, that's for sure. If I can tomorrow, I'd like to go explore the lake more. If this if this wind lets up, it just it's not even fun at all to paddle around in this wind. I went earlier, like you saw earlier tonight, and it's just like can't even do nothing. The mornings have been my only time I could paddle. Actually, I know, sorry, at night. Every other night I could paddle too, but um, the mornings were the fishing, the best fishing. I feel hungry after I ate that, like right away. I don't know what's going on. If, if there's not enough in the pike. You know what I mean? Not a, enough of what I need, but be supplementing those little bit of vegetables and rice and stuff should be fine. I don't need to eat much really. I am working a lot so I'm expending energy. I'm probably not drinking enough water. In the daytime I like after I eat lunch I've been feeling like really really tired. I'm just kind of like laying around. Again, I can't sound like I can go paddle around or anything. But I'm sure all that will change. Being here for 10 days, you know, and you're going to experience all every type of weather. <coughs> Cold jack pine tea. There's no shortage of loons. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it. Alright, I think that's it for tonight. I'm going to try and conserve battery and SD cards. So, 
unless something interesting happens, I will see you guys in the morning. Good day. <laughs>
Yeah, it's not fighting half as hard. Pike. Cool, that's today's food sorted. Not as big as yesterday, but definitely an eater and enough food for me to eat today. Very cool. I'm gonna keep paddling the same way I was going. I'll keep trolling and if I catch another fish, I'll throw it back, unless it's a walleye, then I'll keep her. There's my put in. Here's my camp. Woo, I'm happy to be back. For the past three days, I've been using this small brass Williams Wobber. Not small, but not very big. Williams Wobbler. It's been working great. Great on the pike at least. Maybe I should try jigging for some walleye, but uh, we'll see about that tomorrow. I'm gonna make myself up a chair. I got four logs. I've already notched this one. The idea is to put them together like this. So I want them both notched at roughly the same. Uh, spot in the same angle so that they'll fit together better. Bam, son. I've got to get rocks to stop it from sliding because it's sitting right on a rock too. I end up putting a rock back there, put a rock there, and I'll put a rock in front of that. Um, foot and see see how that goes now I should be able to lean back because before when I leaned back in it it slid out damn it okay a heavier rock behind it's still sliding I just need a heavier rock behind Yep, she's going slowly. Okay, no problem, I'll go grab one. Oh yeah. Who's a peasant now? Not I. That's not so bad, guys. <laughs> Improving your situation, eh? All right, that was a good use of time. This is a super comfortable chair. It wasn't that hard. I just used a little bit of paracord and an ax. And I guess my saw to cut these. I'm glad I brought a saw and an ax. It's useful. Oh. I gotta get some water on. My head's pounding. Okay, so considering it's day five, considering it's day five, and I already got the chocolate and the s'more stuff out of my birthday present, let me give you a little backstory. Originally, I was supposed to come five days later than I did, but things got changed around, and I changed my flight, and I hopped on a flight and booked it up here as, soon, as quick as I could. So, originally I would have only had four nights out here before my birthday, and then six nights after, five nights after, the remainder for ten days after my birthday. So I would have been here about half the time, and then my birthday, and then spend the rest, another half, uh, remainder of the time here. Because my flight got changed, I came earlier, it made my birthday the last night that I'm here. So it, it changed everything. So when my wife and my daughter were packing that up for me, 
they weren't making this for the last night. They were making it for like the middle. So they put, unbeknownst to me, they put the, the s'more stuff in it. And I would have had half the week or half the time, five days at least, to to eat that stuff. Because there's three, or there was enough for three s'mores. That said, I'm assuming the rest of what's in this box is, there's the rain, is meant for me to look at or have or keep or do whatever with for more than just one night, the last night, you know what I mean? So I'm going to open it today, an early birthday present today for me. You know what? It's mine. I can do whatever I want with it. So, happy birthday. Thank you, sweetheart. No, look at the bottom. <laughs> she loves her hearts. <laughs> we got pictures. We got two pictures of Em and Will. I thought they might have sprayed perfume on it. <laughs> My lovely family. Oh, she made me an envelope. Emerald made me an envelope. <laughs> I want to get my dirty hands on it. From Emmy to Dad. With an upside down heart. Oh. Dear Daddy. Oh! There she is. Dear Daddy, I hope you have a good birthday. We love you, Daddy. With our full hearts, near and far, I love Dad. Oh, <laughs> she's so precious. Oh. Thank you, Emmy. I appreciate it. I love it. I don't want to ruin this. Another one from Emmy. From Emmy to Dad. <laughs> Dad heart. She made me out of a heart. That is awesome. I think it's me. <laughs> oh, that's too cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move back here. I'm right in the cusp. It's raining. It's raining. Oh, this one's from my my lovely wife. I'm not gonna read this one to you. I wanna read this one to myself. I'm going to um, move everything back, get out of the rain. Thank you, family. It's much appreciated. I really I'm excited to read the one from my wife. I'm excited to I'm happy to see the one from my kid. Makes me feel good. Thank you very much for the note, honey. <laughs> made me cry. I said a lot of the things that I needed to hear. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I love you very much. I'm going to sit here in the rain and think.
I got these little birds, <clears throat> these little brown birds. They're like the color of a chipmunk, and they like to run around instead of fly. And they, I keep thinking they're chipmunks. Well, not anymore. I, I, I originally thought they were chipmunks. But little birds, little birdies, my only animal companions, birds. <laughs> I haven't been doing much. I, I laid down for a while in my sleeping bag. It got real cold and windy. It stopped raining. It only rained for a touch. Nothing bad at all. But it's pretty nice now. It's it's the sun's come out. Wind's still there, but it's always been there. It's it's not strong right now. I uh, I got to get up and do something. I've been laying around too much. So I think I'm gonna go. Uh, then we know canoe, cast a line in, see what I can see. Just spend a spend a little time on the water. I'm in this little cove under the wind, and I see a pretty nice dead standing tree, good solid size. So I'm gonna cut that baby down, bring it back to the firewood. I'm nowhere near my island. took a while. I warmed right up. I think that was the first time I took off my toque today. Now I gotta cook supper. For sure. But this wood will last me a few days. It's a lot of wood. I do have to split some down. Still. That's handy. The wood burns hot. Burns with a dark orange flame. Probably a lot of resin in it. It's very good wood. I'm happy I got that tree. I'm gonna go gut. I'm gonna go down and get my food. I can barely move. I need food really bad. I'm gonna go get my fish and cook it up. I'm losing my mind. It's been too long since I ate actual food. Today was just, I just picked at some jerky. I'm trying to conserve. Again, I'm not gonna eat rice tonight. I'm gonna conserve it. I have a whole pike. Every other night I've just had half a pike. Tonight I have a whole pike. So, yeah, just fish tonight. Maybe a little tiny pinch of veggies. A little splash, a little salt bay of veggies in there. Veggie bay. Meme review. Man, this knife is getting dull. There's the back strap, I think. I'm getting better at filleting them with the this knife. It's still not as efficient, but it works. I don't even try and take out the bones anymore. I just pick them out when I eat, does not matter. I got time for picking bones, you know? I got time. Time is on my side. Time is all I have. It's a race against time. Father time. Time to boogie. What? I'm super hungry. Let's try and dig into this, see if it's ready. A little scramble though. Look at a fish, boy. Look at the nutrients. Mm. <laughs> I can't do it. He's much better at it than I am. All right, bon appetit, first bite. Tish familiar. It's not bad. I'm just getting, uh, just getting a little tired of eating pike, I think. But, Better than just rice. Better than rice and veggies. Alright. I'm going to eat this up. I won't make you watch me eat my whole meal. Hopefully I can go paddle tonight. I want to. I want to go watch the sunset if there is one. There's tons of clouds, so who knows. But That's my... Uh, that's my wish for tonight. That was hot. 
Oh, okay. That was hot. Sorry about that. Well, that was quite filling. What I've been doing to clean my dishes after I eat, come down to the lake, grab a big thing of moss or lichen, put it completely in, just scrub it right out like an SOS pad or a Brillo pad, I guess. And then it's ready to go for drinking or whatever. I will actually pour the boil water on here so I don't contaminate the water with this. And then it's good for drinking. Brat. Tonight. Tonight ended up being one of my favorite nights. Last night was like the least favorite, but they've all been really nice. Today's the uh, halfway mark. It's crazy. It seems like I've been out here for a long time. It seems like I've been out here for a really long time. I haven't talked to anybody. I know it's just five days, but it's how it feels to me. It seems like this is my life. It's crazy. <laughs> That's where I live, right there. <laughs> Now it's thundering and raining. I thought I heard thunder. Yeah, it's freaking. He's gonna come in here. Uh oh. I'll spare you the axe, but I'll show you beforehand and after. That's the old blister there. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. So I'll have to pop that. Man, I don't know it's what's in the air, but like the weather completely changed. I, it feels like like that storm system passed completely and that like it's gonna get like it feels warmer already like I got a rager fire going and stuff but like it feels a lot warmer than it was I have a feeling and I I hate to say it even out loud but I have a feeling the black flies are coming in but that's okay I've, I've gone this long without them I that's a that's already more money in the bank <laughs> okay I'm gonna pop this thing. All better. Flat at least. super cold my hands are numb I woke up to this wind ice bitter ice cold wind all right I'm hunkering back down I'm laying back in bed for a bit Check it out. I made myself a bath for my chair. I buckled my PFD right on. You can see that, eh? And now I can lean back. No, no sticks jabbing me in the back. I have full back support. This is like a huge upgrade from yesterday, which was a huge upgrade from the day before. So everything's good. I haven't gone out at all. It's been horribly windy and uh, gray. It's actually lightened up just a bit right now. 
it's 11. It's 11 in the morning. Um, I told myself I'm not eating pike today. So I'm not even in like a urgent need to go out or like I don't feel like a huge like pressure to go fish. Um, I'm going to give myself a day's break. If it was nice today, I was going to go go try and find some walleye in the other lake. But I can see that I still have like four or five days here. Um, four and a half days here. So today I'm just hanging out. I've been reading. I've been writing in my journal. I ate some oats. Um, yeah, it's just going to be like a rice and jerky kind of day. It's, uh, it's okay. I'm not going to spend any energy or a lot of energy, so I'm not going to be as hungry. I'm, I'm starting to be okay with just sitting around. I've never, um, never done that on a trip much. You know what I mean? When I go on a canoe trip, I'm busting my butt. When I go on a backpacking trip, I'm busting my butt. When I go on an overnight, I'm busting my butt filming. I'm running around doing little projects and filming and stuff, never stopping. I'm starting to be okay with just sitting. It's, it's good. Maybe it's a patience, like, thing. My mom always used to say to me, it's a lesson in patience. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mom. I shouldn't say it like that. It's a, les it's a lesson in patience, honey. And I would always just shrug it off. Maybe it is. Sun's out, guns out. Look at this. It's only 2.30 in the afternoon, something like that. About time. I am stoked. There's still some clouds and stuff, but man, look at this compared to earlier. I ended up going canoeing around for a little bit just to try to warm up. Um... I saw some loons, called out to them and stuff, which is pretty fun, but look at this, this is beauty, this is beauty. Where have you been all my life? Blue skies. Gray skies are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. Spread sunshine all over the place. Put on a happy face. Okay, I'm gonna make a tripod to hold up my cooking pot. That's for the finishing touch. The pot hook. So I don't want my paracord to be hanging down too far. The flames will eventually melt it up. So we have a short paracord and a long pot hook. I have to go cut one. I have to go, fi I have to go find one, a suitable one. It'll be, might be a little difficult in this kind of forest too. Ooh, fun! Look at my setup. I love this. This is getting to be slick, guys. I'm telling you. Like, sit back. I got my books here, my axe, all my cooking stuff. It's nice out now. Falling out of control. It's just too nice. I can't not go paddle and fish. What a beauty day. Man, it's super nice out right now. I'm going to try and find some deep water and put a deep diver in. I've only been using uh, uh, Williams Wobbler. Actually, mostly been using a Williams Wobbler. Used a jig with no luck, and I used the top uh, floating rep repella. 
with uh, I caught my first pike on that. But other than that, I've that's the only th things I've used. So I got a a deep diver rapella. I'll try that. But I gotta find some deep water, man. Like literally, there's it's a very very shallow lake. I think the water's down too. The water lines I see on the rocks are way like a couple feet above, which doesn't make sense because it's springtime. But uh, that's how it is, and it's super rocky like underneath. Hence all the islands and everything everywhere. So I don't want to get too snagged up too often either. So I try and find some deep water. Look where I am. There's not much land around anywhere. I'm pretty much in an open spot. Like I understand you can see land everywhere. I just mean I'm in a big wide spot of the lake, right? Like there. That's what I'm talking about. I just paddle I just have my Len Thompson number two down. It's a big old silver lure. And I'm paddling in the middle there where there shouldn't be anything. And I there, there's boulders out of nowhere, like a foot out of the water, not even a foot under the water, not even. I can see them clear as day. It's crazy, man. That's what I mean. Like I'm in this huge open spot, and it's just boulders strewn about. It's crazy. Everything I've caught so far has been in shallow too, and I understand it's the spring and things want to come up and feed and eat and stuff. But like, it's just pike. I was hoping for some lake trout and for some walleye. It's okay. I'm totally fine either way. It's just... I'm trying to catch something different. I got a big fish. I got a big fish. Wow. Tire yourself out, big guy. Oh, it's a monster pike. Okay, pike for dinner. If I get, If I land it. Well, it's not a monster. He's just a big, good fighter. Put up a good fight. Uh, he's not small. You gonna splash one more time? Are we good here? That's, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Things are happening! <laughs> Okay. Well, he has a lot of fight left in him. Are you done? It's a big guy. Come here. He ran like three or four times. You done? I gotta get him with my other hand. Oh, he's a big fish. This is a lot of meat right here. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. Okay, we have to deal with this so he doesn't knock my camera over. Well, that turned out all right, eh? Put that floating wrap on. I came exactly where I said I was gonna come, and that happened. So uh, I can't. He swallowed that thing big time. It's a treble hooks on it. It's down in his gills. I can't get it out. It's okay. I dispatched him, and I'm going to go back to camp. I'll clean him uh, before that. I'll clean him and get out out of him. I'll clean him on a rock. Uh, away from my camp this time. I want to leave his uh, remains there so that I can watch the birds get it from my camp. I'll do it across the way. Not a bad size. All right, the deed is done. My meat here, I'm gonna put it on top of that for a minute until I get back to camp. I'm gonna leave my remains here, and uh, hopefully tonight I'll be able to get a view of an eagle eating her up.
cut it into strips so it would burn or cook better, not burn. I'm gonna weave it in and out so it doesn't fall off. There we go. Straighten it out as much as possible. And I am going to sprinkle some steak spice on that piece right now. Want any of the steak spice to fall on the ground, so I put that thing underneath. Oh, moss, perfect. Okay. Rig this up. Right about there. Seems perfect to me. It'll take a little bit, but that's okay. See if she's done. Yeah, that's gotta be done. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. That's done, right? All right, that was super good. Next up, I'm cooking it this way in the pan with a little bit of lard, some steak spice, and lemon. This is a super low heat, so it's cooking, simmering nicely. It's not turning into mush either like that. Um, sucker I cooked in the pan. Cheers. Very good. Mm, that's a good way to cook it. Okay, that was too good. I had to make a second batch. I charred this one, a little blackened. It tasted different. It's all about variety. I couldn't even eat another boiled uh, pike today with rice. Too much of that. But, this is decent. This and the one on the stick. I do have a small fillet left, but I'm pretty full. So I will... Save that for probably later on tonight because it's only 7.30 and I haven't been going to bed till like 10.30 or 11. This is my favorite time of the day. By far. Man, I could just stay here forever. The sky is so unreal. The clouds are just like swirls and oranges and purples, white, black. The sky is still blue over here. It's, it's it's nuts. The water's starting to turn purple. Man. Man. You guys have to experience something like this. Like, for real. Like, you don't have to come out do some crazy 10-day solo thing. But, like, try and go camping near the water. You can be on the water when the sun goes down. I highly recommend it. It's super cool. Look at the water. Spring peepers in the background. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of SD card. I gotta stop, but I'm sure I'll show you once it changes some more.
Good morning. Oh, slept good. It's 5.30. Um, I added all those boughs to my bed last night, and it worked. It helped out a lot. I'm sure I've compressed them. I'm still sleeping on top of my coats um, on top of the, the sleeping bag. Bows, coats, sleeping bag, just a, for a little bit of extra buffer. It's chilly. I gotta get a fire going. I think I see. Oh yes, the sun is rising. Uh, let's check out the bows. See how flat they got last night. Oh, a pen. I can see where I laid right there. The, in the dent, the indent. And over here is not. Today's day seven. I've been here for a week. I've eaten four pike, five pike, four pike and a sucker, or five pike and a sucker. So, hoping for a walleye. That's the whole thought behind going over there. So, it'll be worth it if it pans out, and if not, it's something to do. It's only like six in the morning. And yesterday I laid around till like 11 because it was no good weather. So I'm going to take advantage of this nice weather for sure. I'm just out about, just about out of my oats. Got three more mornings. Got a monster. Got a monster pike. I'm not keeping him. It's too early. He's too big. I'll let him go for sure, but he's running like nuts. I thought it was a snag. The third one that I've got. Oh my god. Oh, he's a big boy. <laughs> Look at him go. Yeah, that's a big fish, man. Look at that. The third time I thought it was a snag. And I got a big one. Oh, man. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, yeah, this is the biggest pike I've caught this trip, for sure. By far. Oh, my. You're a big fish. Okay, we gotta get you off this hook. Eh? He will not calm down. Every time I try and grab him, he's just gung ho. Man, that's a big fish. Oh my god, that's such a big fish. Okay, I gotta get him just like over the side of the boat. I can't even bring him in. Piss.
Come on, open up, big guy. I got my hand inside this dude's mouth. Like, completely in his mouth. Ah, it's a big fish. That's a big old fish, guys. Look at that guy. Holy crap. That might, that might be my biggest one. All right, go on. There he goes. Alive and well. Well, that was a treat. That was a treat. That was a big fish. Well, that was by far the biggest fish of the trip and it rivals my biggest fish ever caught. Biggest fish ever caught was a 37 inch pike and that was 32, 35. So, that's cool. He, the reason I let him go is because it's so big, guys. He's just a beast of an old fish. I don't want to eat that thing. And it's super early in the morning. So, it, even if it wasn't, I wouldn't want to eat that thing. into Bear Alley. This is my takeout. I'm going to start being a little bit more loud with my talking. I got my paddle and my rod. I'm going to leave the canoe here uh, for this trip. I got my backpack on too. I'm going to go this one without the canoe, walk it, leave everything there, and then um, come back for the boat. Oh yeah, look at the trail. Look at the game trail right there. Broke my GoPro. Ah, I got a soaker. Ow. Okay, I didn't break myself, and I didn't break my my uh, fishing pole or my paddle. Ah, my hand. Ah. Uh. Okay, all is well. I got soaked. I got a hook in the leg. That's okay, it could have been worse. It's gonna be a pain getting that canoe over here though. I broke the clamp right off my GoPro, it's completely gone. Okay. Some more bear scat, look what's inside it. Fish bones. Fish bones and berries. Nope, just fish bones. Fish bones and more fish bones. Okay, I'm here. I made it to the lake. Now all I have to do is go all the way back and do that again with a, with a canoe on my head. I did it. It wasn't that bad. I didn't fall. But I'm beat. I'm so hungry. Like, so hungry. Um, now I just gotta circumvent this small lake and see if there even is a river or a stream coming in or out of it. Which way, guys? Which way do I go first? I'm gonna go that way. I already walked. It might be far down that way. I was already there. I know it's not there. Maybe down there, there, or around, or around the bend over there. Who knows? Super shit. 
shallow in here. But look, it's getting it's getting like a rivery windy. Might be promising. Check it out, I caught a monster. <laughs> That's like food for the last one I caught. This is worth it for the paddle, man. Even if I don't catch a walleye, this is beauty in here. Nice little river system, creek, whatever it is. Eagles everywhere. I can see a bald eagle and a golden eagle next to each other. Or a mature bald eagle, I really don't know. This is peaceful, man. You hear these birds? This is spring. Oh, man, I just carried through that again. Another same stream, creaky, rocky passage that I did on the other one. I think we're coming into another lake, actually. Seems that way. No walleye in the last one. I'm so hungry, guys. Like, honestly, I'm effing starving. Like, I'm so hungry. The rest of day seven was pretty uneventful. Made it back to camp a few hours later. Just hung around all day. No fish to be seen that night. I ate a dinner of rice and jerky. So he's been rough. I hit a wall. Big time. This is the most down I've felt the whole time. I can't get warm. I've been chilly this whole time. I got back. I passed out in the shelter here in my sleeping bag. I like half slept. Weird dreams. Not really awake. Not really asleep. And then... I finally got up and I felt all out of it, just out of sorts, like, had no energy. I laid uh, out in, the, in front of the shelter on the sleeping bag for a long time, just catching any kind of sun that was out there. I'm sleeping at night, I'm eating, I might not be eating enough. That pike not be, might not be cutting it, I might not be getting something that I need. But, like, I've been fine this whole time, since, since the start of it till now. Just sitting down by the water. It's like 9.30 at night. Didn't do much today. Wasn't feeling too hot like I told you earlier. Just kind of sat around and read my book. Um, did some camp chores. and I'm feeling much better. Tomorrow I need some food. I don't think that the pike has any fat in it. I could be off on this, but I feel like that's the problem. So tomorrow I'm going to get a pike, I'm going to throw a bunch of lard in it, cook it up. Turned out to be a really nice night again, like every night. Day 7 I think was my like slump day. I'll be good now, I think, I think uh, I'll get up early tomorrow, go to the grocery store, grab a pike, and uh, have lunch of pike and then supper like I was doing the first few days when I was feeling better. So let's try that again. Good morning guys. It's about five in the morning. This is the time I get up regardless <laughs> if I want to or not. <laughs> no, it's just how it is out here. It's raining, it's been raining all night. Just a steady rain. Uh, very gray day. So I like this will be an all day kind of rain. I hope not. But that's what it seems like to me. The rice and vegetables didn't cut it last night. You know, it did it for the time being, but that's not, that doesn't stick with you. 
I'm real hungry. I have to like salvage and like sp spread apart my food now, like make it last for real. I have like a handful of rice, a handful of oats, like maybe a day's worth of jerky. I have all day today, it's 6.30 in the morning, all day tomorrow, and then half a day uh, on the 10th day. I was really banking on fish for today. It's cold, man. It's almost too cold to go out in the rain and, and fish. Like, I will if I have to. I got my firewood still, about half of it. I got my rain gear. I don't know if, it, if anything will be biting in this. I know walleye like to bite in the rain, but <laughs> that ship has sailed. <laughs> Tarp water. Better than boiling it and let it cool. I'm gonna drink this whole thing right now. Alright, the time has come. I gotta get out and get firewood. I have been feeling okay just because I'm sitting there not doing anything, drinking tea, drinking water. But even just trying to get these brain pants on took an effort. And I'm huffing and puffing. I have no energy at all. So this is gonna be uh, this is gonna suck. So I gotta get in the boat too. I, I've been looking around already. I went out three, four, five times and got the firewood that was around here. It's all gone. I know where there's a bunch of dead standing good ones like the other day. It's on that side of my island. I can't walk there because it's impenetrable. There'll be too many trips back and forth with the wood. So I gotta go up in the boat and uh, paddle around. I gotta take it easy though. <clears throat> and take my time. I'm 100% wearing my PFD this time. Uh, I've been wearing it and not wearing it, but. In all reality, I should be wearing it the whole time because I'm by myself, but sometimes I just pop in the boat real quick or I don't feel like I need it if it's super calm out. And sometimes I can't get it on over that fall raven coat. Alright, I'll bring you on the GoPro. That bad out here. It's raining. It's like constant rain, but the it's not like pouring by any means, I guess. Oh, she's a dark one, but. There's a few in a row. I'll go grab the biggest ones, like thigh thick at the at the uh, base. goodness thank god for this tarp seriously look everything's drying here i'm drenched i'm shivering i'm cold freezing freezing cold my hands are numb i got my food in here my pike 
There's no supper and lunch nonsense today. There was only eating pike. I'm gonna sit by this fire and I gotta dry out and warm up. Actually, I gotta build this fire again. And I didn't get more wood because it's so cold. Ah, cold trying to fight the wind and everything. So, cut this wood, make the fire, dry out, cook, eat, repeat. So, I got that whole pike in there. I got some rice, some veggies. I left just enough rice and veggies for tomorrow to do the same exact thing. This is a big old pot of food, guys. A big old pot of food. I'm super stoked to have this. Look at that. There's so much pike in there. Look at the chunks. Look at the chunk, boy. It's almost done. I mean, you can bet I'm gonna freaking sit here and mow this down. Nummy nums. That's a spicy meatball. Oh. Oh, warming me from the inside, filling my belly. Thank you, Pike. I'm getting there. It's, uh, it's filling, filling to say the least. I couldn't eat it all, so I put the remainder in my little dish here. It's not much, um, but it'll come in handy later on tonight. Put the lid on it, and I'll go clean this out. And I think I'm going to make myself my very last hot chocolate, the present from my wife and kid. I was saving it for tomorrow, but that's okay. I still have one thing to make, uh, I have the things to make one s'more tomorrow. So that'll be my birthday cake. I'm really chilled right now. I'm trying to warm up. It's getting, it's hard to, to warm up. Instead of drinking hot water or spruce tea or Labrador tea, I'm gonna make that hot chocolate. I'm looking forward to it too. Chow buddy, that is so good. Oh man, it's turned out all right, you know? Just gotta get up and do stuff every now and then, even if it means getting wet. It's just a waiting game. It's just like a, not even a waiting game. It's just like an endurance thing. Like, skills aside, you know what I mean? You need to know, know how to make a fire. You need to know how to get food. You need to know how to make a fire when you're wet. You know, dry off. All these things are very important. But it's just a like a mind game. Just being out here alone for any amount of time, but... learning how to slow down. I bet you the footage from the beginning of the trip until now is completely different. My whole demeanor, I'm, I'm sure of it. I hope tomorrow, I hope tomorrow I wake up and for my birthday, my birthday is tomorrow if you didn't know, um, I hope it's nice and sunny, but if it's not, that's fine. I can't lie and say I didn't have the uh, a thought, eh, hey, it's my birthday, nobody will blame me if I bail a day early, if I just, you know, pack up all my stuff, call Harlan on the sat phone, say I want to be picked up a day early and go. That thought did cross my mind, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to spend my birthday out here by myself like the plan was. And I bet you anything, even if tomorrow is a nasty day, I bet you tomorrow night will be epic. I'll have the perfect sunset, I'll have the perfect night, it'll be, it'll be all that much better for it. So, I am going to, uh, to wait for that. And I'll be upset if I miss that. I'm just going to hang out, guys. I'll get back to you if anything happens, but other than that, this is me for the next till dark. Well, since I talked to you last, I needed more firewood. I was all out. I got a ton now. I fell in the water. Not bad, just up to my thigh. My one thigh and the, my, next, my other leg was like up to my ankle or something. But both my boots are soaked. 
My socks are drenched, my pants are drenched, so I'm just trying to dry out now. I'm steaming up a storm over here. It's okay, I got a lot of firewood and I cut it all up and I have a decent amount, but I'm probably gonna use a, <laughs> the majority of it trying to dry out. These are all my clean clothes now too, right? Like, uh, yeah, so. I'm dried out pretty good now. My socks are still wet, but they're dry and they're steaming up nice. You see my wood collection here, super, super twisted, so it's hard to uh, split, but I got her done. Man, it's a gorgeous night again. I'd be out there paddling in a second, but everything's wet, and I really got to take time to drive. I'll show you. Freezing cold on the feet. You see, you have a well-defined trail now. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's crazier than two minutes ago. Yeah, I wish I was paddling in that right now. Look at that. Yeah, another nice night. It seems like every night, man, it doesn't matter what the day is. The night is beautiful. Oh, I'm looking rough, look at me. Okay. Back in to warm up my feeties, my freezing cold feeties. smoked out well day eight was different um, yeah it started off I thought I was gonna be in bed all day in the shelter all day kind of thing I'm glad I went out it was fun at first I got that pike too was some work after I gotta move here wind shifted um, yeah man it was it was another day, you know what I mean? It was another day over here. Tomorrow will be another day. Tomorrow is my last full day and night, and then I'm getting picked up the next day at midday. So it'll be 10 days. I'm excited. I'm excited for my birthday. 34 years old, man. I don't know what to think about that. There's not much to think, I guess. It's just what it is. 34 years old. I'm making up some Labrador tea. I'm not too cold. Got my, got my coat unzipped and everything for the first time in a while. Got my hat off. I haven't had this too coffee in forever. So for this trip, I anticipated hot. Like the, the weather was supposed to be super hot. For the first few days, it was pretty warm. But I anticipated hot and bugs. <clears throat> not cold and rain and wind. Although rain was only really today, but cold and wind, a lot. But it's all good. You know what I mean? I, I don't get sick from cold and wind. I get sick from black fly bites. So maybe tomorrow will be a nice hot day. Either way, I'm excited to see what it'll be. Well, good morning. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's 4 th uh, four twenty in the morning. I'm going to get up and hopefully get on the water and watch the sunrise. A little rushed in days. Just wanted to get out here in time. It's not started yet. I'm going to paddle around this island here on the other side of it and try and get the sunset or sunrise. Happy birthday to me. Look at this. Oh man, we're gonna get it in its peak. This is perfect. This is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted.
it's cold. It's freezing cold. It's okay though. I'm happy for it. This is uh, idyllic. Like I was prepared for even rainy day with a good a good night. But like there's not a cloud in the sky. There's a tiny, tiny breeze if anything. The sun is just about to crest. There's fog on the lake, mist on the lake. It's uh, pretty serene. There's two loons right in front of me. I think. I can't really tell. Do something in the water. Maybe I'll be able to grow a beard this year. <laughs> there she is. A little beautiful. Five fifty. Oh, she's bright, bud. She's a bright one this morning. That's the best morning of the trip. Maybe one of my best birthday mornings ever. I can feel the sun, like I'm like, I can literally feel the warmth. It's so nice. Well, I got lots of time today and it seems like she's gonna be a beauty. So I do need a fish for today. I imagine I'll go back to camp soon and warm up because I'm really, really, really cold. Maybe uh, have a tea and some jerky. Spent a bunch of energy getting here. Not a bunch, but I'm starving. And uh, yeah, just relax for a bit and then come back out to fish because it's, again, it's uh, almost six. My boots are still wet from last night. Nearly dry, but no froze up on that paddle. This has been a really good shelter. I'm super impressed with the tarp. It's tarp by AquaQuest. It was slapping around the whole week, like, and it's got just branches poking into it left and right. I did not um, clear them all off after after when I was putting more more log supports on in the middle of the windstorm. Just threw them up there. Uh, there's no holes in it. It's got no spark holes. This thing was used. Used for these 10 days. Very, very impressed with it. And I'm very happy that I brought the size that I did. At first I was concerned that it was going to be way too big. I have no open space for it. But imagine me and anything smaller. Like I, did, I spent a lot of time in this shelter. Um, I have a lot of things in this shelter that stayed dry, including, including the fire inside. So it's pretty awesome, pretty awesome. This is what is not what I envisioned doing, but it made a lot of sense. I envisioned building a little bit more, but I'm only here for 10 days. I have to tear it down anyway. There's no point. Um, I took down enough trees and stuff anyway. So this was great. This, this did every single thing I needed it to do. Uh, very blown away. Very, very uh, happy with, with this type of shelter. Perfect day. Happy birthday. This is a shallow lake. This is early in the season. Um, I was told that if there are walleye, they're, they're not going to be deep anyway. So who knows? I'm going to jig 20, 30 feet off of an uh, island here. I, I got a fish while jigging. Seriously, I, I got a fish while jigging. If this is a walleye, oh, it's a pike. Oh, but I got a fish while jigging. That's something. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. 
I wonder what I should do. So here's my conundrum. It's early. I want a, I want a walleye. It's a nice eating size pike and everything, but I think I'm going to let him go. I think I'm going to let this guy go. That's what I'm doing. My good deed for the day. Just gotta run to the corner store for a second. You wanna come with me? Here's the corner, and here's the store. My Labrador tea. I got that. Got my piece of jerky. I'm gonna savor this piece. I'm down my last few pieces. Sleeping bag got a little wet with condensation last night. Moisture from me breathing inside it. So letting her dry. She's been there all, all morning. I'm sure it's dry by now. Warm to the touch, nice. Lay out here on the rock, air my dogs, let the sun get at them. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh the sun feels so good. Oh my goodness. This has all really come together. Everything happened perfectly. I wouldn't change a thing now. I gotta really thank, uh, man, huge, huge thank you to Harlan. <clears throat> set me all up, set me up with this boat, with fishing tackle, uh, ooh, there's a big old rock. Um, wow, a big old rock. Uh, sleeping bag, hook, drove me out here on the four wheeler. Uh, sent his fiance six hours each way to get me from the um, the Thunder Bay Airport. Six hours each way. Thank you. You know what I mean? There's that's crazy. Didn't ask for a thing in return. This boat is a, is a blessing. I was expecting to use a normal canoe. I wouldn't have got around on those windy days. Not as not as easily. Fishing 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 from it would have been difficult for me too. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm saying for me personally. So, oh, and this boat now, I think he has it in his fleet. So, if you guys are thinking about a woodland caribou trip and want to use a solo uh, boat this style, he has it now. I was the first one to use it. It's a little dinged up. It's a little scratched out now. Sorry about that, Harlan. But, thank you. You guys, this is something else. This is like paddling in a dream. There's not a breeze. There's a perfect mirror. Clouds in the water. Like, for real. Look at that. Look at the clouds.
The only sound is like faint birds on my paddle. Well, I got a fish on, but by the sounds of it and the feel of it, he's a big one. Like, might be the same big, big guy I caught here the other day. This is the same exact spot I just cast here oh, after trolling, and uh, I got him. Yeah, he's pulling my boat. This is going to be a big fish. Darn, I'm not, I don't want a big old dirty fish. This is a big fish. Man, he's strong. It's a big old, oh my goodness. Dude, this guy. The whole commotion going on. Crows, this big old pike fighting. He's not even that big, he's just feisty. He's big, but he's just feisty as the day is long. I'm eating him, he's not too big to eat. Come here, big guy. He's a beast, actually. He's not, he's not no joke size. Oh, yeah, he's a hog. Oh my god, it's thick. I can't eat this thing. I feel bad, I'd waste so much. It's a hog. It's a hog. Oh man. I just barely hooked him inside the lip, so he should be fine. But he's a beast, man. I'm letting him go. I can't, I can't, it's like literally like a super, super thick, dense fish. I don't wanna just take him and eat part of him. He's, he's, he's obviously a monster in here, and uh, yeah, it would be a waste, but that's okay. Okay, back to back. I literally just let that guy go and put the camera away. I hope this is a good size for eating. It is. It sure is. Is that even a... Yeah, it is. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh. <gasps> you son of a gun! You son of a gun! <laughs> He got my camera a little wet. He got me pretty wet too. All right, this is my eater. This is my dinner for sure. Nobody gets my camera wet. <laughs> okay, not too shabby. It's a good eating size. Still not even small by any means, but way better eating size than that other one. So we will uh, continue paddling around for a little bit. Then make our way back because the wind's picking up and the clouds are gathering. I think it'll be fine, but continue our little paddle, make our way back, prepare this guy, have a decent meal, and uh, relax and wait for the nighttime. Hopefully, hopefully get hopefully get a good nighttime paddle in. Nice uh, sunset, calm water style. But either way, this day has already been a blessing, so anything's good. Woo! Where's the wind? Oh my gosh, as soon as I said that. Let's still prefer a calm night. Okay, I got some really nice fillets off that, like really nice fillets, probably the nicest ones I've got so far. I got a ton of meat here. Look at that. That's a healthy amount of good looking meat. Really impressed with those. fish in here, keep them cool. I'm going to cook up a small piece right now, or one of the pieces right now, um, before supper. Look at this, the 
We got some good fillets, man. That is a decent fillet. Shoot. That might make it split when it cooks. I messed up. I messed up. Anyways, there she is. Prop that up. Pick that up for now. I got chili again, man. The wind kicked up. I gotta, I gotta put layers back on. She done. Put some pack there. I didn't put any steak spice or any kind of seasoning. I guess that is my seasoning. I didn't put any steak spice on. So I'm just gonna score a little bit of lemon, but I have to be super careful. My hands are full of cuts and they're all infected. I'm talking like painful. I can't touch things without my hands throbbing. So the thought of lemon juice getting on them is just not fun. Like I'm okay with a little bit of pain, but it's just that's not fun. Alright. This is my appetizer for my before my main course of pike, rice, spice, and veggies. Don't fall off on me. Tastes like pike. I've come to know the taste well. Okay, not so bad. Eat this guy up and cook up the rest of my food. In between that, I'm going to start the fire again. It's not done, but fuel the fire. Get it ready for my next session of cooking. My, uh, I have a three course. I'll have a three course birthday dinner. <laughs> First course was good. Second course will be better. I'm going to cut them up into chunks. Half this size, like that. There's water in my pot. I went and got fresh water. I'm going to boil them good. Then I'm going to use the water to make my rice and veggies, like I've done in the past. It's enough lard, right? That's all the pike deboned. As you can see, there's a lot of meat there. So, this might be a little eating fest. Not three courses, <laughs> two courses. And my dessert will be my third, I guess. Yeah, I'll have to eat this in two settings. This is way too much food for me. Just the pike alone. It looks like so much. All right, folks, finished product. There's a lot of food here. A whole lot of food. Big old chunks of rice, too. I mean, <laughs> fish. Durr. Might as well squeeze the crap out of the lemon into it. I'm done though. We'll go sit down here and eat. It's nice. It's a nice night. Nice evening. Are we recording? Yes. All right, happy birthday dinner. I'm sure it'll be nice enough to go for a paddle tonight. It seems like it's already calming down. I wonder what my family's having for my birthday dinner. The time has come. I am waiting no longer. I have three squares of chocolate. I have my focus. One marshmallow. I'm gonna I pre-made my, my marshmallow stick, you know, I, I'm not messing around here. Uh, oh, heavenly. And I have a thing that ties her all together, if she's still intact. 
Is she still intact? Intact. Nice. I've got two halves of halves, so a quarter. So if I, that's going to go on there perfectly, and then roast the marshmallow, it'll be good. I'm tempted to take one of these pieces of chocolate off and eat it by itself. I think I will, because that's still going to be good. I'm going to do that. I'm definitely doing that. I'm going to save that piece of chocolate for after. This is uh, real, real stuff, boys and girls. Okay, so this is going on here. I'm going to set this on the rock to melt while I roast the marshmallow. I don't like roasting it on the flames. I want to roast it on the embers. Okay, we're done. Melty, good marshmallow. Don't leave the center in. Bam, 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 bam. Bam! That's about perfect. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh! Look at that. It's dripping chocolate. My clean hands, too. Oh, I almost forgot. That's really good. That's super good. Much better. All right. Best s'more ever. Ever. Not just because of where I am and what day it is and me waiting to cook it, but that was actually a really good s'more. Like, that melted perfectly. <sighs> Happy birthday. All legal. Oh, his branch snapped. Sunset's coming. There she goes. Setting behind the trees right now. The perfect day, man. It's awesome. This thing just played out absolutely perfect. I'm pleased to have done it, very, very pleased to have done it, and I'm ready to go home, that's for sure. That wood burns like crazy, man. There's so much resin in it. You guys, I forgot about the piece of chocolate I broke off. I just saw it sitting next to my chair. Mm, bonus birthday surprise. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, it was a pretty awesome day. Pretty good birthday. Cool way to spend it, for sure.
morning. Last day, day 10. 5.20 in the morning. Yep. I've been laying here since 4. Can't go back to bed. It's super late already, so. Gonna get up and eat my scoop of oats. <laughs> Start packing up. <laughs> Take much water on that one. More black stuff in my water. Look at all those. Ugh. I'm ready to stop eating stuff like that now. Go back to being somewhat clean. I'm taking this spoon with me. Look at it. Look at the difference in it. I keep shaving it down to keep it clean. Look at the top half. That's, that's about how my hands look. Okay. Look at that. That's gonna fill me up, no doubt. I'll be completely full off this. I don't even need to eat the rush. It's hard to believe it's over. It's kind of surreal. I'm gonna probably start packing up pretty soon here. I may take a couple minutes just to myself and uh, kind of recap on everything that happened and just appreciate and give thanks. I'll get back with you guys when I start to pack up. Looks very different without a tarp there. This was an awesome setup. Like, went better than I could have planned, for sure. Very impressed with that tarp. There's not a burn hole or a poke hole in it. Oh, my poor fingers are so sensitive. Ah. Uh, I know. Just put on your gloves, Joe. That hurts too. This has been an awesome spot. Probably never be able to replicate something like this, but just the whole situation, the moss carpet, the good fire in front, the soft bed, the sun, the breeze, the view, the fish. What more can I say? Goodbye, sight. You were a good one. There she is, loaded up, gear thrown everywhere. No energy or care to pack it away properly. Almost lost the boat. It almost drifted away. The very last thing. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll. Uh, I'm just gonna paddle around. That's what I'm doing. It's actually pretty windy. And wavy. I'm gonna go my meandering roadway just for old time's sake instead of paddling directly to the pick out or take out the spot. This is part of the reason I really like this meandering part. Even though it's not calm, dead calm, it's way more calm than out there on the open water. You get a small intimate like river feel off of it. Man I can normally catch fish here. <sighs> What's up? I go, I, I, how far am I? Not far at all, eh? It's okay, you got Sherpas now. <laughs> so big. How are you? I'm alright. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you, Joe. Thanks for coming, guys. You got a granola bar with my name on it? We got a granola bar with your name on it. Nice. You want something to drink? Yes. There's the truck. The truck, finally. Well, that's it. We're about to head down the long, dusty road. Sleep at Harlan's tonight and uh, get on the plane tomorrow, see my family. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Once again, thank you to everyone who, who was involved. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a really good time. This won't be the end. See lots of videos soon coming up. Joe's back. <laughs> Where'd he go? Thanks a lot. Bye.
Good girl!